Yo, today we're checking out Transformers Prime Episode 12, 150 likes, and I'll release the next one tomorrow. Let's go, man. Let's see what's going to happen in this episode of TFP, man. We're in outer space. Oh. That just gave me Beast War vibes for some reason. I was watching uh, the first episode of Beast Machines on Tubi yesterday. I never really watched Beast Machines, but I grew up on Beast Wars, and uh, that definitely gave me, like, that old... 3D animation vibe, you know what I mean? RC? Is RC gonna come upon this? Interesting. Wish I'd pack some insect <laughs> yeah, bro, you don't want to get no uh, West Nile or something, man. You drink just about as much blood. <sighs> Quite the outdoorsman, aren't you, Jack? <laughs> you be making fun of my Yo, I mean, I, I don't blame him, bro. I'm not the outdoorsy type myself. What happened here? Oh, what boy. Stay behind me, low and close. Is it friend or foe? I wonder if it's going to be like a Decepticon or Autobot that I know. Are they out in the woods? RC. Oh yeah, Jack's out there by himself now, dude. Something. Oh, is it Black Arachnia? Face, do you read? It, obviously, they had... I'm running in the past. RC and whoever that was. Oh, oh, oh yo, an RC centric episode. Oh, she's bugging, bro. Oh, no wonder why. Did this happen in the video games? And I'm guessing this was on Cybertron, bro. Oh, she's like, we gotta go, bro. This person, whatever bot this is, is Spider Bot, is a menace, bro. She's dangerous. Bro, she's going to be in these trees. It's a spider, bro. This episode looks so good. What is going on? Did I just not pay attention to how good it looks? Trust me, Tailgate. My navigation abilities are... Oh, yo. Yo, I want to see this bot longer than like a few seconds, man. I want to see how cool she looks, because you know she's going to look cool. I saw the helmet. It looks pretty cool with the gold and everything. Oh, yo, her scrape is acidic, bro. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, dude. It's bringing back flashbacks. I feel bad for RC, but I'm hyped to see this bot in full display. Her name was like Arachnida or something like that. So it's not a black uh, black arachnia from Beast Wars. I don't obviously she couldn't be in this, right? But she's based off of her, right? Yo, look at this! this the, the face design is so sick. Wow. Oh, she's gonna be a menace. But is she a Decepticon? And this is the first time in this series, right? In this this uh, in TFP that we're getting a bot that's not vehicle based, right? They've all been vehicle based so far. RC. Small universe. Uh. Too small, Arachnid. Arachnid, okay. War's been over for mega cycles. Tell that to the Decepticons. These days I travel solo in pursuit of my new hobby. Oh. She used to be a Decepticon. Now she's a, a, a rogue bot or a solo bot. They didn't black Arachnia go solo at one point and then ended up joining the Maximals. Of course they are. Really in danger. Until they meet me. <laughs> Yo. I have a slot for Yo, she is wicked, bro. Yo, Arachnid, is that her name, bro? He's pretty strong, man. Look at her. RC's holding her own, though. I just love that design, man. It's so sleek. Come on, man. Gonna add Jack to her trophy case. I can see it in your eyes. You're afraid, RC. And you're never afraid. Bro, she's suffering from PTSD, basically. Tailgate? Is that Tailgate? That's her partner. Remember, she was... That's, she got upset about Cliff Jumper too, because that was her partner as well. She didn't want to lose another person, because she lost Tailgate. Bro, so she saw Tailgate die in front of her. 
I didn't know it was like that, bro. At some point, you really have to ask yourself, RC, is it them or is it me? <laughs> oh my goodness. You get it now, Jack? Yo. She's not interested in me. Bro. She hunts indigenous species. She's wicked. She that means humans. You. <laughs> you better run, bro. Yeah, you better get the heck out of here, dude. But that won't compare Whoa. to the pain you'll feel knowing Yo. I'm adding your human to my collection. Bro, she is sadistic. I love it, man. Give us more Decepticons, man. Yo, this is horrifying, bro. This has huge horror vibes right now, man. Imagine being in the, in the woods by yourself and this, this giant mechanical spider is chasing you, bro. <laughs> Playing hard to get. And she's saying things like that to you. Messed up, man. Optimus? Nah, Bumblebee, bruh. I couldn't save my partner. Damn. Poor RC. I like that they're giving her the spotlight in this in this series, man. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to worry about those animals. You gotta worry about something else. Those animals gotta worry about that too. I like those eyes too. They're so cool looking. Oh my goodness, bro. Dude, that is terrifying. Dude, this is crazy. You better get there soon, RC. Hello, Jack. <laughs> oh no. Oh, she's still not out? There you go. There you go. You better hurry up, man. Because he's about to become spider food. Look at her. She's so wicked, man. It's so cool. Please, Jack. Oh, who am I kidding? Yeah. Not gonna not gonna matter, brother. Oh, he ran back to the ship, huh? Making it easy for her though. Where's he trying to go to the control room? So she does have two feet. That's what I thought. Did you spot the empty space? <laughs> That's gonna be your new home, bro. Wow. He's gonna try and blow this thing up with her on it and her whole collection, bro. She ain't gonna be happy, man. Uh, you're gonna get caught in this explosion, dude. You might wanna like run. Oh, oh. Oh! <laughs> Damn! So is that it for Arachnid? Did Jack take her out and not RC? Did her partner take her out, bro? Was that enough to take out Arachnid? It wasn't. Oh, <laughs> yo. Oh, she definitely got hurt. RC's on the way, though. Come on, RC. Here we go, dude. Here we go, dude. Right in the face. Get your hands off her human, bruh. Yo, this is personal. You feel the weight behind those blows? Yeah, I really hope Arachnid isn't destroyed this episode like they did the Skyquake, bro. Give us a new bot for longer than, you know, an episode. I mean, they did give us knockout and breakdown. Damn, she got her ass beat. Jack. Dude, I hope that's not it, bro. Please don't tell me Arachnid's done after this episode, man. I want more of that character. Survival kit. Get, get the heck out of here, bro. Oh, she's going underground? Arachnid, air, arachnid. Okay. Arachnid stuck here on Earth. True. I'm not sure that's such a good. It's thing. not a good thing, especially when she joins back up with the Decepticons. <laughs> my partner far away from any oversized insects. Partner, huh? Yep. Junior. <laughs> you'll 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 rank up at some point. <laughs> All right, man. 
pretty good episode, dude. I have a feeling that Starscream and Arachnid are going to end up joining forces at some point. I mean, she was the Decepticon at, at one point, and uh, it would make sense for her to work with Starscream and the Decepticons again. Definitely like the Black Arachnia vibe to her. I have a feeling she's based off of that character and possibly maybe another character. But Black Arachnia comes to mind for me personally because I grew up on Beast Wars. I would love to hear your thoughts on this episode. Probably one of my favorite episodes of TFP so far. But again, let me know your thoughts. 150 likes and I'll release the next one tomorrow. Thanks for watching.